just discovered a need and decided to do something about it. After seeing an elderly man struggling to mow his lawn, he came up with an idea. He decided he'd mow it for him and anyone else who needed help for free. I'm capable of cutting grass because I'm young. I'm able. A lot of elderly people are not able. My name is Rodney Smith, Jr. I'm from the island of Bermuda. Well, in Bermuda, everybody's just friendly, you know. They give back when they can. And that's what drives me, to help people. The goal was to reach 40 lawns, but I reached 40 lawns in a month and a half. Push up, push up. Oh. <laughs> How you miss? Two months later, you I reached 100. Yet? And that's what got us to here, raising my lawn care service. So I'm doing something positive, and I, I want boys to follow my footsteps and be better than me and give back. My dad, he spent his life building houses. His love for helping people, I think, rubbed off for him, and I caught a little bit of that. Y'all, please welcome the founder of Raising Men Lawn Care, Mr. Rodney Smith. Hey, Rodney. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you for being awesome, here. Man. Love what you're doing. Thank Amazing. You Yes, mm -hmm. Take us through take us through that day where you're driving and you see that elderly gentleman trying to mow his lawn. Okay, so I, I attend Alabama a and in Huntsville, Alabama. I was driving from school one day. I saw an elderly man cutting his lawn. So I pulled over, I helped him out. And that night I decided to cut lawns free for the elderly, disabled, single parent mothers and veterans. And you've recruited all of these young gentlemen to come and be a part of something that matters, giving back and helping other people. Yes, ma'am. Boys and girls, so. Boys and girls. Yes, we have something called the 50-yard challenge. So let's uh -huh. say you have a kid in Nashville that accepts uh -huh. the 50-yard challenge. They will draw a sign and say, I accept the 50-yard challenge. In return, we will send them a white T-shirt. Uh-huh. Once they cut 10 lawns, they get an orange shirt. Oh, wow. 20 a green, 30 a blue, 40 a red, and 50 a black. And once they reach 50, we fly to them, we do lawns with them, and we also surprise them with a brand new lawnmower. So far. Wow, <laughs> yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. How many lawns have you mowed today? To date, it's about almost 2,000 lawns I've mowed wow. so far since 2015. Wow, since 2015. 2015. How did you fund this? Everything's funded by donations. Um, we have supporters all over the world that, that I call family members that support uh -huh. Raising Land. They fund us with get money for gas, uh, T-shirts, um, car repairs, and lawnmower repairs. So yeah. we're grateful for them. Absolutely. And you have to juggle this with your education. Yes, sir. So you're a full-time student. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm getting my master's in social work. Um, I should be graduating this May with my master's in social work. That's amazing. So is your, is your school's aware of this organization, uh, yeah. right? They are. They, are right. they must be so proud of you. They are. You know, um, and you've taken this nationwide. Yeah. So Raising Man Lawn Care Service, the goal is to get in all 50 states one day. Right now we have eight different chapters across the nation. Uh -huh. Last summer I done something called 50 States, 50 Lawns, where I went to all 50 states and mowed one lawn for someone who was either elderly, disabled, a single parent mother or veteran. Thanks to Briggs and Stratton, they supported, supported the mission, which allowed uh -huh. me to do that. And this summer I will be doing the same thing, going to all 50 states, but this time I will stop in each state mowing a lawn for someone who's elderly, disabled, a single parent mother or veteran. But this time I will be stopping to talk to kids about lawn more safety, the importance of community service and getting mm -hmm. more kids involved with the 50 yard challenge. Absolutely, I think it's wonderful. Let me tell you something, man. You come to Nashville, Kelly and I will mow those lawns. Oh, we're mowing. I'm gonna hold you to yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hold you to it. Heck yeah, man. I'm gonna hold you to it. <laughs> we'll do it. You She'll garden for them. She'll put <laughs> a garden for them. I love yard work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I do, I love to garden. Yeah. I do. Okay. I love dirt. Dirt, okay. <laughs> He's a germaphobe. I'll, I'll still do it. So I will push away all my fear of ticks, and I will do it. I will, I will mow those lawns. I don't care. I, I want to be a part of this. So you're going to take one of the 50-yard challenge? A heck yeah, we'll oh, do yeah. it. I'm we'll do it. Yeah. yeah. All the volunteers come in. What's the response been like? They love to come out. Um, we have this one young man by the name of Andre. Mm -hmm. He's in Kansas. He took on the 50-yard challenge. He's, when he accepted the 50-yard challenge, he was seven years old. So when his mom sent me a message, a message saying, my son wants to take on the 50 yard challenge, I was oh, like, sweet. this oh, seven year old. How precious. <laughs> yeah, so that's him with his little letter that he wrote me. His mom said that he wanted to take on the 50 yard challenge. I said, okay, a seven year old, 50 lawns. Uh, if he moves 25 lawns, I'll come to him. By the end of that summer, he moved 50 lawns. To date, he has moved over 100 plus lawns. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 
Are you a crier? Are you a kind of no, guy? Because no, no. I'd be crying every five seconds <laughs> if I heard these stories. Yeah, so we have kids around the nation that are picking up a lawnmower and making a difference one lawn at a time. The reactions from the customers have been oh, the, overwhelming, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the people that we help are elderly, and a lot of them are yeah. on fixed incomes. And so when we can come cut the loan for free, they can use those monies for medication and stuff mm -hmm. they really need. It's awesome. Amazing. Yeah. You know, sometimes people don't understand the kindness, the give, you know, giving it's back so to other people. Yeah, it's so yeah, simple. The it's a lawn. It makes. But yeah. it makes, yeah, yeah, you're right. Rodney, we love what you're doing. So we reached out to the folks at Briggs and Stratton. They've been supporters of yours for a very long time. They're a century-old company known for their outdoor power equipment. Well, they're giving you another lawnmower, if that's all right. It's perfect with me. A leaf blower. Yes, ma'am. Is that okay? It's perfect. A generator. Yeah. yeah. And a pressure washer. <laughs> Thank you. It's like the price is right. It is. <laughs> Thank you, Rodney.